Ed, this one's for you, mate. Bray, you are a naughty man indeed. Shame on you. He's awesome. Good evening YouTube, it's Mike Grimlock, I'm back again with another review for you. This one is courtesy of Ed, who has somehow inspired me to do a Ratchet review. So, here we go. This is Ratchet in his ambulance mode, and it's quite a nice ambulance. It's an American style one, nice and chunky, and there's some nice detail work on it. Including a few little paint apps that you can see on the sides there. Unfortunately, he doesn't really scale very well. In terms of show accuracy, he's missing quite a lot of red from the back end here. But there are some awesome repro label sets that you can get that totally, totally fix that. Not many people know this, but Ratchet was actually an extra on AR, but his career went south when he was found smoking behind the bike sheds with Goose from Top Gun. Here's a little comparison with Ratchet in his Cyberverse Legion class version. And you can see that they're actually very, very similar in terms of shape. He's obviously a much shrunken down version, but the paint schemes are completely different. Here he is with his animated version, and actually, they're more or less the same size. The animated version comes off slightly larger, but it's nowhere near as nice in terms of the colours, although he does have a better paint scheme. So there really isn't much else to say about his vehicle mode other than it is a quite nice, neat, tidy looking mode. And there's not a huge amount of evidence that there's a robot living in there somewhere. Transformation time. It's in robot mode that Ratchet really shines as an awesome example of a prime toy. He looks fantastic. His transformation can be a little bit fiddly, in particular these bits around the legs which are like a blue plastic which sometimes feel like they're possibly going to snap when you're forcing them through. Prime Line seems to have some awesomely engineered forearms. Ratchets are magnificent. Look at these bad boys. Fold down like that and then you just fold them over and over again and they click in and they're awesome. AWESOME! There's some major articulation going on here too. Ball joints, thigh swivels, knee bends, ankle swivels. That's kind of part of the transformation though. He also has quite a nice waist swivel. He's got a lovely ball jointed shoulders, nice bicep swivel, elbow bend and he also bends at the wrist too. His head's also on a ball joint but because it pops up you don't get a huge amount of motion out of it. His head looks awesome too and he has amazing light piping. <laughs> Ratchet is a grizzled, grumpy, seasoned, war veteran who shares absolutely no personality traits or characteristics with any other Autobots. Oh my god. Hmm. Animated Ratchet came with some lovely healing magnets. Prime Ratchet comes with these scalpels of doom. You can also fold these hands in to give him these Edward Scissor hands like scalpels of doom attachments. Very doctorly. The scalpels of doom also fit on Ratchet's vehicle mode, just in case he ever fancies a spot of death race. <coughs> no, not that one! <coughs> yeah, that's better. The weapons also peg in quite handily underneath, should they need to. Sweet. Obligatory size comparison time. He's actually about the same size as Bumblebee. Which is weird, because Bumblebee feels really small and Ratchet doesn't. His animated version absolutely towers above him though, even though they're almost the same size in vehicle mode. Cyberverse Ratchet doesn't fare so well. So in summation, Ratchet is awesome. He's really well articulated, he's got a lovely paint scheme, although I am thinking of investing in repro labels. What's not like about the Autobot medic? Ratchet rocks. Given his medical track record, it's a good job it wasn't Ratchet stuck with Prime in the last episode of Beast Hunters. Right, this has been Mighty Grimlock. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all again soon. Bye! I'm going to bed now to have nightmares.